Now this is the drawer of my fridge. And these are all the medicines that we have placed here. Some vaccines and then some hormones, heparin and some insulins and eye drops in the top shelf. So let's uh, start looking at these products one by one. Colibit drop. This is basically lactase enzyme which is used by patients who have lactose intolerance it's for babies mostly. Then we have uh, allopatadine of thalamic preparation club. Vinac. This is nepafinac. Uh, 0.1%. Then we have Okay, what's this? This is Latip eye drop. This is Latanoprost, anti glucoma drug. And then we have Vigamox. Vigamox is a very famous brand and it's sold by the same name in North America. Uh, this is basically Moxifloxacin, 0.5% used for eye infections. Then we have Combigan. What's that? It's uh, Brimonidine tartrate, eye drops, and Timolol. Combigan. A lot of Vigamox drops here. This is Prostilet, the Tanoprost, 0.05%, used for glaucoma. Then we have Ferinject. This is Ferrica boxy maltose. This is a very popular form of parenteral iron that's often given to patients who have uh, non-functional kidneys and they are undergoing dialysis together with supplemental erythropoietin. Ferinject, one 10 ml oil contains 500 mg of iron and this definitely has to be diluted before it's given to the patient. Then we have Pregnil, Pregnil 5000. This is again a human HCG hormone and that's equivalent to 40C and 40M that I showed before. Let's turn to the other part of the fridge. And then I should use IVFC. This is also human ACG, 5000 international units. And this is again, uh, sorry, IVFC 5000 and then 40C 5000 international units. And this is again the same type. Pregnant, that's also a type of ACG, 5000 international units. Then we have COSOP. COSOP is also sold by the same uh, name in so many countries all over the world, or Zolamide uh, and Timolol. Dorzolamide 2% and Timolol 0.5% and then we have Timoptol which is Timolol alone uh, and it's a 3 ml of thalmic suspension and what's the strength? Each ml contains 5 milligrams of Timolol so this is pretty much it now this is the lower rack uh, okay now Park rose. Park rose is again a form of a parenteral iron. Iron sucrose complex. Well, iron sucrose is the form of a parenteral iron which probably has the most brands in Pakistan. This is calcitonin. Maya calcic. Calcitonin. 100 international units. And it contains 5 ampules, 1 ml each. Then we have sandostatin. Octreotide is such a famous drug uh, for patients who have Zollinger. Uh, elision syndrome and they do not respond to conventional therapy with PPIs. Well, these are some of uh, the fridge items that I've placed outside just to show you because they are pretty important drugs and they are, you know, are not very commonly used but it's good that you know about them. This is permitronate disodium for intravenous infusion. It's uh, not commonly prescribed but uh, it's often difficult to find this drug and it's pretty expensive. It's by the brand name Permidria. Pemidria. This is one of those biophosphonates that you use in osteoporosis, like risedronate. So, Pemidria. Then we have Lectrum. Uh, this is uh, Luprorelinacetate by Sandoz. It contains one vial with lyophilized microspheres and one solvent ampule plus one kit. Then we have amphotericin B. Well, amphotericin B, you know, the most notorious drug for causing nephrotoxicity. But again, when it comes to systemic mycosis, this is one of the most commonly used drugs. And it's often difficult to find. This is a 50 milligram lyophilized vial. And it's uh, yellow in color. Amphotericin B looks like this. 
I've never seen a drug, uh, you know, which is colored yellow. It looks like mango tang. Okay, so if you uh, are provided with a powder and you have to choose what it is, you know, just by looking at it, you will be able to tell that it's amphotericin. There's another one uh, that's colored, that's tegacycline. Uh, Tegacil, which is a very broad spectrum antibiotic, that I'll show in <coughs> another video. That's also colored, and it's orange colored. This is presage. This is again chorionic uh, gonadotropin. I've shown you some other products also. IVFC and FERTC. This is also another one. HCG, 5000 units. Iron Sucrose Venifer is uh, again a very famous brand. Then we have Cyclogest, Progesterone, 400 milligrams, Vaginal Pessaries. And then we have Rogam, which is a uh, anti D immunoglobulin. You know, it's used in RH negative mothers who get sensitized to the, the blood of their babies, their fetuses, they get injections of Rogam. This is Easy Gut. Easy Gut is uh, a form of a probiotic which is given to infants who have diarrhea because of disturbed intestinal. Uh, uh, flora. These are 10 ml probiotic drops. Easy gut. Then we have Maya Calcic. This is basically calcitonin and it's uh, of synthetic origin. So just giving you an idea, it contains 5 ampules, 1 ml each, and the strength is 100 international units. Each ML contains uh, 100 international units. Then we have some ligator bands, which I'll open up and show, uh, and I'll demonstrate how they look like inside the box later. Then we have some snake uh, anti venom, anti serum. This is lyophilized, and it's why we use only. It costs eighteen forty. And if I just open it up, it's in the form of a pellet, lyophilized pellet. Okay, now then we have some forms of heparin. What's this? This is alpha calcidol. <coughs> two micrograms in a sterile aqueous solution one alpha okay now coming to all the heparins we have this is by Leo heparin by Leo and it contains 5000 international units per ml and this is basically 5 ml it's a clear liquid just like humulinar and this is you know the type of uh, an anticoagulant that's uh, safe for use during pregnancy. And then we have some other forms of heparin, I mean some other brands. This is Pine injection. This is again 5000 international units per ml. And then we have another brand. And this is again by Leo. This is also by Leo. And this is by Pine. Well, there's another one. This is the third one. This is called Hepa Rotex. Hepa Rotex. And this is again 5000 units per ml. And it's all like clear liquid, like water. Then we have Cervanta. This is an extremely expensive drug and this is used for neonates with respiratory distress and it comes in two strengths. Uh, I mean uh, the strength is the same but it comes in two volumes. The first one is Cervanta 25 milligrams per ml and it's a 4 ml single dose vial whereas the other one is double the volume. It's 8 ml and it's very expensive. The for uh, the 8 ml vial costs 34,863 Pakistani rupees. So it's very expensive. Next we have Glandin E2. 
dinoprostone. That's one of those prostaglandins that is used to induce labor. Glandin E2, dinoprostone E2. And it's uh, each vaginal tablet contains dinoprostone, European pharmacopoeia, 3 milligrams. So it's sealed in an aluminium pouch, an aluminium blister, just like that. Then we have Minactra. Minactra is also a meningococcal vaccine. I showed you Menview previously, which was placed somewhere here. Menview. Yeah, here it is. <clears throat> this is Menview. Meningococcal group A, C, W135 and Y, conjugate vaccine. This is again another type of vaccine, Minactra by Sanofi Avantis, and it again is a conjugated vaccine containing all the all the four groups A, C, Y, and W135. It's a single dose vial. I've already been through Sandostatin. It's a creotide. It's a growth hormone antagonist and it comes in two strengths and that's used for patients with you know uh, Zollinger Ellison syndrome who are not responding to conventional therapy with PPIs and their ulcer is so exacerbated that they need this growth hormone blocker and then I've uh, shown you this injection iron sucrose, iron sucrose again as I told you is such a famous parenteral preparation iron for iron here in Pakistan as opposed to iron dextron and iron sorbitol and other forms of iron uh, including carboxymaltose etc. Then we have lantogen. Lantogen is an oral suspension of bacterial antigens and that's used in kids so that we can boost up their immunity of the gastrointestinal tract and making them resistant to any antigen or any uh, common diarrheal microbe they might ingest with contaminated food. Lantogen B costs 876 rupees and it's given in the form of drops. Like this. It's an amber colored bottle. And it's sealed, you would just open it up and then you would give it to the patient. And then we have some insulins placed up here. Lantus, Solo, Lantus, this is a very famous peakless insulin, insulin glargine by Sanofi Avantis. Then we have insulin basil. I'll do a separate video on all these different types of uh, insulins later. Insulin, uh, insulin basil, this is human insulin. And then we have insulin rapid. And these all are by Sanofi Avantis. And then we have insulin com 25, which is a mixture of regular insulin and isophane insulin. And then we have, what's this? This is a nasal spray of the synthetic calcitonin preparation I showed you before. Yes, this is in the form of an injection. And this is a nasal preparation of the synthetic salmon calcitonin, which the patient can use. And if I just try to open it up. comes in this form, a very nice spray and it's clear liquid just like water and it has this dust proof cap which the patient would just take off and he would use this medicine to get his regular calcitonin. It's like you know the way you use your regular steroids for rhinitis. 
and this is another box. So let's move down to the lower shelf. Here we have some flu vaccines. This is Vaxigrip by Sanofi Avantis. It comes in the form of a pre-filled syringe which you would just administer in the deltoid region and the patient is good for one whole year and it's usually given before winter season in autumn it's one pre-filled syringe and the liquid is very clear like water Influvac is another brand of uh, type of a flu vaccine this is by Abbott and then we have Fluorix which is yet uh, another brand of the flu vaccine so it doesn't really matter whichever brand you might use then we have Nemo 23 this is for ammonia it's a polysaccharide pneumococcal vaccine that's also given intramuscularly and then uh, let's compare this with Prevenar and other option is to use Prevenar 13 it's a conjugate vaccine, a 30 villain vac a 13 villain vaccine, excuse me. And then we have Nemo 23 with all these types of uh, the polysaccharide antigens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, B, 7, F, 8, 9, N, 9, V, 10, A, and so on. It's written on the box. Okay, now this is now u progest. This is a form of a micronized progesterone, which is given either orally or vaginally. And it comes... Uh, in, in a strength of 100 milligrams this is you know basically hormone replacement therapy then we have very vac it's uh, a very cellar vaccine you know used to prevent chicken pox you know shingles herpes all types of um, you know the, these very cellar infections next this is dacta cord this also requires refrigeration it's a combination of uh, an azole antifungal which is meconazole plus a steroid hydrocortisone which is a very mild form of a steroid you know a very potent steroid would be clobidazole so this is hydrocortisone dactacord this requires refrigeration next we have some what's this this is lanestrinol Omatril, 5 milligram tablets and it's sealed so I won't be able to show you how does it look like from the inside but let's see if I can find a bag which has been opened now this is also sealed Omatril and then we have some cartridges this is in sealer tart look how milky it is you know because this is because of isophane and just if I give you a closer look look that the milky portion is has settled down and the clearer portion of the insulin is you know just above the cloudy part and if I just mix it it's redistributed and that's what we counsel patients before you know providing prescriptions for insulin tart benfil then we have some other ones as well and we have some local insulin this is by Geds Pharma, it's a local uh, Pakistani company, it's Karachi based and this is their form of regular insulin and you get this is their form of isophane insulin which is milky because this is you know the a tip just to tell by looking at the insulin because isophane insulins they're cloudy because of the combination with isophane which is in 10 which you know provides a longer uh, half-life in, in blood Insiget and then we have this is Insiget regular and this is Insiget N you know you can see this N written on the box and this is Insiget R N is for neutral protamine hagatron complex NPH and R is for regular this is pure human insulin obviously it's made, made by the recombinant technique and this is Insugate. Next we have Insulotard. This is by Nova Nordisk, a Danish company, a very famous one for making insulin because three companies are famous for making insulins, Sanofi Avantis, Eli Lilly and Nova Nordisk. 
you know, so most prescriptions choose to start patients on the insulin made by these three multinational companies. But if cost is a factor, we might want to choose one of these cheaper options. Hence you get. Then we have, again, I've shown you this. This is the nasal calcitonin. And then we have Presage. This is the human HCG, 5,000 international units, given IV. Uh, and then we have, sorry, is it IV? Uh, no. Intramuscular or subcutaneous. And then we have Imatad. Imatad is the tetanus toxoid, which is very frequently used here in Pakistan, you know, because patients who've, um, you know, or even people who've been into a motor accident, uh, cardio, uh, car, you know, motor vehicle accident, they would come to the pharmacy and get this without a prescription also. So it's like cloudy. And this is very frequently used in hospitals and trauma centers and the casualty department, the emergency department, and here in community pharmacies as well. So in my time, we have some good boxes placed here. And then let's move on to the lower shelf. So here we have some more parenteral iron forms. So this is Firmax. Again, you can see it's iron sucrose. You know, because iron sucrose is made by so many manufacturers here in Pakistan and uh, working in retail, you will come across so many brands of iron sucrose. Let's compare this with another brand, Ryubiject. This is again iron sucrose complex. And then we have Ferrosoft, uh, because all these parental irons are placed here. Ferrosoft S, Ferrosucrose complex again. Just the manufacturers have varies, but the strength and the form of parenteral iron is the same. Mm, this is iros, iron sucrose complex. And then we have RBC, that's a fancy name, iron sucrose injection, USP, 100 milligrams in 5 ml. <clears throat> then let's compare this with this one because this is a, a different form of parenteral iron. Monofer is iron isomaltoside. 1000 and it's named in the BNF this preparation this is a hundred milligram per ml solution for injection or infusion but it's best to infuse it and it you know has to be used with great caution because we see so many cases of anaphylaxis with parenteral iron and it has a high mortality despite you know a rapid treatment and this is Tybar Tybar is basically the typhoid vaccine it, uh, it comes in this form of little a little injection okay. we have this drug literature and this is the little vaccine dye bar like really clear water, like water and then we have some sterile water by Sanofi this is just USB water for injection and then we have what's this Calibin. This is again calcitrol, 0.25 micrograms per capsule. Have some box of calibin here, and then we have Tolborn. This is my answer in hydrochloride, 10 milligrams per tablet. Some good boxes of this here, and then what's this? <coughs> Excuse me. Tibol. This is Tibolone. Oral use only. And each tablet contains Tibolone European Pharmacopoeia, 2.5 milligrams. And what is this? This is Trimovax. Trimovax is such a famous vaccine because it is a combination of measles, the measles, this is basically the MMR vaccine, the measles, mumps, rubella, and it comes in the form of a dry powder. And that's why we get this little box of USB water for injection with this powder so that we're able to, you know, just give that to patients so that they can reconstitute the vaccine and inject. It's kind of a creamy beige colored powder. And it's not moving, it's stuck in that the, the lower portion, but that's okay. You know, I'll give you instructions on how do we reconstitute in a separate video. You just take the cap off, use use of the alcohol swab, and how do you just dilute it with water, what syringe would you use, and how to change syringes and stuff. So try Movax. 
It's a very famous vaccine used here because most of the times we see prescriptions whereby physicians want the patients to get a single monocomponent measles vaccine or uh, a rubella vaccine, but that doesn't come that way. It's not easy to find vaccines in that form, so they prefer using Trimovax. So this is all about the door of my fridge. And this was by the way the first fridge and now let's move on to the second fridge.